Hello Reading community, we hope that you had a great week. In this week's video, we have three updates and three shout outs. So diving into the updates, our first update relates to uh, K-5 to literacy curriculum. Uh, we are thrilled to share that the Reading Select Board voted to approve $2 million of ARPA funds towards a new K-5 to literacy curriculum at all of our elementary schools. This program called Art Core aligns to science and research around high quality literacy practices and ensures that all of our teachers and students will have access to the highest quality curriculum materials. The curriculum not only received the highest of grades from various reputable organizations reviewing content, but was also the highest rated curriculum by our literacy leadership team, which is comprised of over 20 teachers and principals across our district. We'll roll this new curriculum out next year in grades three through five, and then the following year in grades K through two. We will share much more information uh, on this curriculum this spring, summer, and in the start of the school year as we gear up for implementation. And we ultimately believe that this program will have a tremendous impact on the literacy development of our students. So wanted to again share that really exciting development uh, for our K to five schools. Shifting gears to um, our upcoming school committee meeting, our school committee meeting on May 26th will be held in Boston. Uh, we feel that uh, for our, our traditional meetings, we, uh, our Boston resident families need to come to Reading for our meetings. We thought it was important to host a meeting in Boston to provide more access to our Boston resident families. This meeting will be open to both Boston resident families and uh, Reading resident families. The meeting will start at 7 p.m. at the Brook Academy Charter School, which is at 200 American Legion Highway in Boston. And we'll actually begin that at 6.15 with a pizza dinner, uh, which is an optional dinner for any of those who want to come for some, uh, for some conversation uh, and time together. Uh, this meeting will be joined by uh, many of our district leaders, many of our school leaders, so we hope to see a lot of our families there. In terms of the content of the meeting, we expect it will be a shorter meeting. Uh, the majority of the time will be spent on uh, uh, year, uh, end of year METCO updates and also some presentations from some student-led groups. So we think it will be a great meeting. We think the opportunity before gives us a chance for some uh, time together. We hope to see many of you out there again on May 26th, our next school committee meeting in Boston uh, at the Brook Academy Charter School. And for our last update, you'll see a link to uh, some of the uh, current CPAC updates, which talks about the upcoming meeting and uh, some of the things that took place in the most recent meeting last week. So again, thank you to CPAC for sharing that. We hope that uh, we'll see some of you at the upcoming June meeting. Shifting gears into shout outs, uh, we'll start with shout outs to some RMHS uh, swimmers. Uh, on Sunday, May 15th, the Eastern Mass Interscholastic Swim Coaches Association recognized Anna Bomer for her accomplishments of establishing a new state record in the 100 meter butterfly this past fall with a time of 53.31 seconds. Anna was one of just four student athletes recognized at the annual banquet that also recognizes swim coaches, volunteers, and swim officials across Massachusetts. Weston Lewin, an RMHS uh, high school senior, was also recognized as the male recipient of the Peter J. Foley Student Athlete of the Year Award for his many accomplishments both in and out of the pool. Longtime RMHS boy swim coach Ken Holbrook was also inducted in the EMISCA Coaches Hall of Fame. His daughter Heather spoke highly of his many accomplishments, including helping to start the RMHS girls swim program and running a successful boys program for the past 30 years. So congratulations to all those recipients uh, who were recognized last week at the banquet. Shifting gears to uh, Coolidge Math. So each month Coolidge Math teacher Ms. Freiberg provides her students with a rigorous multi-step math problem for students to take on in groups. Pictured here on the screen and included in the written update is May's problem of the month titled Bears at the Circus. Uh, we've been really encouraged by the mathematical thinking and collaborations of students as they took on these uh, or took on this real world problem. And for those who are interested, we challenge you to take on this problem with your family and you can see some student responses in the case they help in the written newsletter. And our last shout out goes to uh, all those involved with Unity Day at RMHS. Uh, last week, our RMHS community engaged in Unity Day, which is a full day dedicated to building relationships and community at RMHS. Students had the opportunity to select from over 60 different activities, from Caribbean cooking to cycling to origami. The day was a huge success for our students, with over 99% of students noting that they would love another Unity Day in the future. So thanks to all the RMHS staff uh, who made this type of learning and collaboration and community building possible for our students. We hope that you had a great week. Enjoy your weekend. Go Rockets!